Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I have a really exciting uh, video today. I am going to show you my latest haul. Um, I wanted to get this done before we move because um, I'm not sure um, when I'll have a chance to film again. Um, so I have some physical books to show you and then some PDF books. So I'll start with the physical ones. Um, I uh, finally caved and got A Nice Little Town uh, by Tanya Bukima. Um, this is Nice Little Town 4. And, um, sorry, these are some samples from other books. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> so, <laughs> where does the actual book start? Um, right here. Um, and I just thought these were really cute. I watched flip throughs of um, quite a few of her nice little town books to pick the one that I felt like I would color in the most, and this one won the ballot, <laughs> I suppose. Um, I, I think this little peep view is really cute, and this like teapot. Oh, this one. This is the one that sold me on this book. I just think it's so cute. Um, <laughs> fishing for these little squirmy things. I don't know. Anyways, I just thought it was adorable. So there's a nice little town four. And then uh, my Busy World special from Coloring Heaven finally came in the mail. <laughs> uh, yeah, so almost a whole month later than when they usually come. But this one, so I have Colin Thompson's other coloring book that he has out. But I was really excited about this one because it has some images that are not found in that coloring book. And I think his artwork is phenomenal. So if you like itty bitty detail and grayscale, this book is perfect for you. Um, and I'm excited too because his other book is single sided, or not single sided, double sided, whereas these are single sided. So it opens up the media realm quite a bit. And then this one was kind of a leap of faith because um, the only flip through was like that. So it's kind of like, well, from what I see, it looks cute. Um, and it does say for girls, but there were some really cute pictures. Um, so this is a coloring, fashion coloring book. It has 300 pages. Look at the thickness of this thing. Um, a lot of these are really simple, uh, and others are a little bit more detailed, but for the most part they're just super simple and really cute. So I thought this would be fun for practicing coloring hair and also clothing. Um, yeah. And they're just really cute and uh, really simple, easy to color, more mindless coloring, which is good because I have a lot of complicated coloring books, so sometimes it's nice to just, you know, finish a page in one sitting, which these would be extremely easy to do that. So, um, I am really excited about this one. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, let me go grab some PDF books. Okay, so this side is from, I showed this in a previous video, these are done by Annie Coloring on Etsy, um, but I um, have all these to show you, so, sorry, this is like shaking like crazy. Um, so I discovered Patreon and that <laughs> there are some artists who will give you exclusives on there, um, as well as... Um, like, yeah, other coloring pages. So I um, am going to, oh, and I'm going to try to link all of the PDF stuff that I found below uh, and the other coloring books. I don't think Busy World is available anymore, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so this is Hannah Lynn. Um, this is from the June... This is a June 
or July. I can't remember. I think it was, okay, so this was one of the July pages. Maybe. I, sorry. I can't remember when I started, um, Patreon, but, um, this is August's image right here, and this was a, um, this is from the Whimsy Girl Decades book. We got a free sneak peek of that. And then I also found Jeremiah Kettner on Patreon, and I love his work. So this is the, I believe, the free, you get a free PDF download uh, from one of his coloring books when you first, I'm, I'm just going to say subscribe. Uh, and then Selena Fennick, she, so this wasn't on Patreon, but she had a, um, free PDF of a compilation of a lot of her images from different coloring books. So I just printed up the ones that I wanted to color. I think there were like 50 and I can't remember where I got the link, but it was on one of my coloring groups. And then this is another um, from Patreon, um, from Jeremiah. Um, so all of these are from his Patreon. So he's really generous with the coloring pages that he lets his patrons access. Um, so yeah, all of the rest of this is from Patreon. This is the newest image he just released this month. Um, so really cute. And I'm so excited because now I have lots of gorgeous hair, sweet, sweet girls to color. Okay, so let me grab the other book. Yes, there's another. And I'm back, like magic. Uh, okay, so this, these next images are from a Korean artist. Her Patreon name is White, and she gives you, um, obviously it depends on the tier, but, um, she has some really cute, really cute illustrations. Um, so yeah. And then this is another Patreon artist. Um, her name is Dianita, and she has a very, um, unique style that I love. Um, yeah. So these are some of her pictures um, that she has on there. And then I heard that this artist, Rickley, she was having a sell on um, her page that she sells artwork. Um, and it was a PDF of like 50 for $5, I think. So, um, I printed up the ones that I wanted to color, but also I printed up some that aren't quite my taste, just so you have an idea of what is included, um, in the set. Uh, but some of these I just think are really pretty, like, let's see, yeah, like this one I think is really pretty, and... I love the hair in these ones, and I'm, one of my goals this year was to practice doing different skin tones. This image I think is really pretty. Um, so yeah. And then this artist, oh, I forgot, um, I knew I was forgetting somebody's name. <laughs> so this artist, I cannot remember her Etsy, but I will link it down below. Um, she has a few coloring books on Amazon as well as the PDFs on Etsy. So this was a four set PDF and I thought this was really fun, um, really pretty. And then I, um, somebody had recommended Grazia Salvo's work uh, to me and um, I had it on my <laughs> in my shopping cart for a while, <laughs> her PDF downloads for kindness and loveliness, and I thought, oh, maybe I should go check 
her um, Facebook or art page because sometimes artists will post their deals that they're having um, as well as sometimes they'll do um, free pictures but she was having a buy three items get 15% off of everything so I got the kindness I believe this one is kindness um, they're in grayscale and as you can see my printer was having issues so some of these have splotches I have since um, done some <laughs> uh, what do you call it um, what is the word I've done some uh, problem solving uh, with the printer and I think I found a setting that keeps from smudging so this is the last picturing kindness and then this was an individual these two, these three were individual downloads uh, I just think they're just so beautiful like the hair is beautiful faces are beautiful and then this one is loveliness um, yeah you can just see it's so smeared and I didn't realize that was happening until after I printed everything so now that I've figured out a better setting I'll probably go back and reprint one at a time as I need it so like it's nice to have the physical copy so I know because I like to flip through things to decide what I want to color um, so this will be nice still so I have a visual and then if it's like super bad then I'll just go reprint it um, but yeah I was so uh, I was so heartbroken <laughs> all of these came out so smudged um, yeah so this was um, Grazia Salvo and then I got this it says whimsy girls at work by Hannah Lynn and I love what she's doing now where she has a simplified version and then a more um, complicated version so some of these still have some splotches because it was when I was trying to figure out settings and stuff but um, I only printed off one of each I believe like the version that I wanted some of them were the more complicated ones others were the more simplified um, I think this book is just so cute. I'm so excited to dive into this one, into these pages. And I love how they all have different types of hairstyles too. I think this one is really cool. Um, they all are really. But yeah, so that's Whimsy Girls at Work. And then, um... I had Kelly O'Gorman, I had one of her coloring books, I think I like barely found her shop on Etsy a couple weeks ago, and I had a, uh, I was choosing, cause I think how I discovered her was somebody posted in a coloring group the art uh, picture that they colored and I thought it was really pretty, so um, I went in looked up her shop and I bought the calendar 2020 calendar uh, because well for one I think these pictures are really cute and clever um, but I also thought it'd be really cool even though it's the 2020 calendar the calendar and the image are separate so I thought it would be really cool for every month to color that month so like um, I would color this in in August and then this would be the picture that I color in September because I realized one thing that helps me when I'm in a coloring funk is to have a picture or an artist that I always do first um, like when I was trying to finish my Kirby Roseanne's coloring book that's just what I would if I didn't know what to color that's what I would go color um, so anyways I'm really excited because these are really pretty, really cute. And then she, um, on her website, her blog, she has her alphabet coloring book, 
uh, as a free PDF right now. So I got super excited because this is so cute. And every single element starts with the letter that it's a part of. Uh, and I thought that was really cool and I had to already I already started coloring the letter A because that's actually the letter that we're teaching my son this week for his home preschool uh, and then she had a few other um, PDF freebie downloads I thought this cactus one was super cute so that's Kelly O'Gorman and that is the last of this haul. <laughs> it's kind of a big haul. Uh, I went printer crazy. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so these ones I figured out. Oh, the calendar one I figured out a better printing setting, which is why they're not as smudgy. So this was last night, me still trying to figure things out, and it was just like leaving this shadow print right here. Um, so, yeah, it was just, I think the paper maybe was, I don't know why, because it's the same paper that I've been using, but I had a new ream of it that, and that's when I started having printing issues. So, I'm curious if it's just like a little bit thicker or something, because, yeah. Um, but I figured out how to get it printed <laughs> less splotchy, so that's good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you were able to find some inspiration for coloring books to buy, artists to support. Um, that's one thing that I've been trying to do a lot more is if I see a independently Amazon published coloring book, I'll check Etsy first to see if there's a PDF available in their shop because usually um, the artist will make more from the Etsy transaction. Um, sorry about the jiggle. The Etsy transaction than Amazon um, because Amazon takes about 60% whereas Etsy only takes percent so uh, plus the listing fee but yeah so anyways um and not featured because it hasn't been mailed yet I pre-ordered it uh, is Midnight Masquerade by Hannah Carlson it, Amazon says it'll be here October 30th um, so it's gonna or maybe it's now September 30th but yeah, it's gonna be a while, so I wanted to get this filmed because I'm sure I will have more to show you by then. Uh, anyways, thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great coloring time. Happy coloring!